What is up guys and welcome to another video. So today it's going to be a technique video and it's talking about something that I feel is a massive misconception and I feel like people get close to the right lines but they just get skewed by one thing they heard 20 years ago that they've stuck to for their whole life and um, and hopefully we can change that misconception and understand why I believe that it is wrong, okay? So the tip that I want to talk to you today is about the chest and how it is moving through the finish of the turn, okay? So simply put, when we're moving through the finish of the turn, a lot of people are trying to focus on keeping that chest down course, okay? But I want you to think about our hips, okay? So we all agree that our hips are the driving motion of slalom. It's where the power comes from, it's closest to the handle, it's where a lot of our support is, okay? So if our hips are trying to rotate through the finish of the turn, which I think we would all agree on, we're trying to get angle on our ski, we're trying to get rotation through that finish of the turn, why would we then counteract this with keeping our chest pointing down course? Okay, and that to me is, is quite a simple idea because if you're moving through the finish of the turn and you're letting your chest come around, you're going to finish set, you're going to finish nice and tall on top of your ski with your hips in line and everything's going to be in one solid alignment with our ski, okay? It's going to be our strongest position we can be in. But if we are trying to keep that chest down course for all the way to that first wake, it's going to not allow our right hip to come through. Okay, stand up, try it now. Feel like we're going to be rotating through the finish of the turn like we would on our offside. Again, this is our offside that we're talking about here. Um, try get that right hip to come through and it's going to stop at some point if that chest is down course, okay? So I want to watch a video of Nate here. I feel like he does this better than nearly everyone, even though it's not a perfect turn. I really want you to look at how much space he creates by letting his shoulders move through the finish of the turn and not restricting that movement. Just look here, even him, he moves his shoulders earlier than anyone, um, but he really creates that space through the finish of the turn, so there's so much room for his hips and feet to move through the finish of the turn. And again, not a perfect turn, but he can create so much more angle back into the wake because he has space to rotate. And look at these pictures here. This is six gears, um, and you'll notice that nearly everyone on that picture has a similar rotation with their chest out of their offside turn. Um, so it does spread um, across nearly all the pro skiers because it just creates so much space to drive that angle into the wakes. And something I want you to think about on top of this is the chest is almost 50% of our body, depending on your proportions and whether you've got gangly legs like me or not. Um, so if we're keeping half of our body pointing down course and our goal is to get across course, to point across course, to get angle, we're keeping half of our, ch half of our body pointing down. Okay, and again, it's another reason why I really like to see people finishing and letting their shoulders move through that finish of the turn. So just as a little final point here, obviously it can be taken too far both ways. Like I've said, you don't want to be too aggressive with those shoulders, um, but just give it a go. Like I said, if, you, if it really helps, think about moving the outside of your, outside of your body around that boy with your ski, with your feet. Obviously the most of the power wants to be coming from that lower body, I can't stress that enough, but allow those shoulders to move through the finish of the turn. Don't get stuck in one frame of mind of thinking my chest needs to be down course, okay? Let yourself move through the finish of the turn and see how much more angle and how much speed you can get. And with that strong position that it also gives you, hopefully you'll be able to hold this and be able to move so much faster, swinging on that pendulum up into the course. So on that note, I want to say thank you very much for watching. I've tried to keep it short and sweet. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe or like below, share, comment, whatever you would like to do. I love seeing you guys' comments. And if you have any questions, um, I'd love to do another Q&A video soon. So I will see you guys in the next video.